happy birthday as well. You always find a way to pour your in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, shootouts of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future video that I publish every evening. With that said, let's review this GE 7-2929A AM FM TV band portable radio that's in front of us. I purchased this radio for a total of $20 shipped from eBay. And it came with some paperwork and it's in really nice shape. So let's go over and look at the paperwork. Here's some stuff here. Okay, no box, just papers. Uh, ownership registration certificate. We got the mile number there. We got a date code. Now, I'm, everywhere I go, they interpret that second number as the year. I'm guessing this is 1981, judging by its look. Pretty cool. Next, we get a accessory order form from General Electric. Let's see what we can buy, guys. What is that there? You can get a dipole antenna, pillow speaker, headphone, AC power, ear, another phone. See, this is pretty cool over here. I was checking out. You get premium deluxe headset with comfort features and top performance. Pretty awesome. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You just have to send the stuff in. All right. And next we get some kind of Audio electronics product department, authorized service facilities, yay, boring stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go, there's a manual. FM AM TV audio portable radio, model number again, using care guide. Kind of going over the features of the radio. Pretty simple, basic understanding of, yeah, there's the battery thing, I'll show you that. That was fun. <laughs> AFC operation, the built-in automatic frequency control reduces drift on FM. So there's no way to turn that off, it's automatic. TV reception. Uh, one of my subscribers told me to tune in on um, the low, TV low, and I might find something. I did earlier today, so we'll see if we find anything this evening. So Cool. All right. There's that. And the radio, yay. So dimensions, we have five and three quarter inches wide, nine and a quarter inches high, and a whopping depth of two and one quarter inches. Look at that bad boy. Woo That's a tank. Looks really good though. I like it. All right. On the left hand side, you'll see it has an antenna. Extends out to 30 inches. Yeah. I'm going to whack into things. I'm going to extend that out for sure. In front of the radio, we have the dial. FM on top there, 88 to 108 AM. It looks like 520 to maybe 1610. And then we have TV low and TV high. General Electric. I think that says TV sound. Sweet. It's got a silver treatment. Looks really good. I don't think this radio was used a ton. A little bit, but not a ton. Um, here we got the black grill. Nice speaker. I kind of try to judge it. It's about two and a half, maybe two and three quarter inch speaker. I was thinking it might be three inch, but it's really hard to tell through the vents. Um, here it says two-way power. Cool. Right hand side, we have the tuning wheel. It's really like a uh, Resistant, but smooth at the same time. So when you move your dial, it's not going to move easily, but it's going to stay where you put it. I like that. And it's a fairly easy to read marker, though they really went with the clear design in mind. So, all right. And then we got the volume on off switch. And uh, let's see, then inside here, we have the band select FM, AM, TV low, TV high. So four position switch. On the back of the radio, we have some information there. General electric, there's the mile number. Vented case. Here's where the earphone plugs in. Here's our battery compartment. Now in here it has this four um, double A's. It's cell holder. It's really hard to put in there. Uh, uh, fault impossible. Uh, here is the GE uh, AC cord, and it looks like fairly unused. The contacts are really nice on it, so definitely got very little use. Cool. I like finding a mint radio like this. Just really neat for the collection. All right. That's where the wire would come out for the AC. And the top, we have this really cool handle. Love it. It's like strong. It's like bolted in there in a few spots. I like this little gray treatment. Just kind of adds a little character to it. All right. I'm going to extend the antenna. We're going to tune it and see what we can hear tonight on this and see what it sounds like. Now, you know what? I'm not going to extend it fully because I don't think I need to. And we're just going to go ahead and try 
let's go ahead and try TV low. I didn't find anything on TV high, so we won't waste our time there. Let's go TV low. There's our, where it starts. We'll go ahead and see what we can hear. Oh, a weather band, really. Highs in the upper 40s to mid 50s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Monday night. That's a surprise. Lows in the 30s. Cool. Something. Some music station there. And there was more earlier during the day, so maybe they turn off at night. Saturday, Another weather band. Highs in the lower 40s. I didn't find these earlier. <laughs> You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio, KXI 41, serving the north and northwest suburbs, including Woodstock, Libertyville, and Elgin. The current time is 11.09 p.m. Central Standard Time. The following is a wind advisory from the National Weather Service. Cool. For the following county, Kenosha. Okay, weather radio. Sweet. Something's trying to get through there. Okay, so there's a music station on channel 6. Awesome. Thank you for the heads up. And let's go to FM. And we'll go ahead and go to the bottom of the dial there and see what we can hear on the FM band. But wow, two other bands are sweet. Okay, that was a bonus. I didn't hear those at all yet uh, earlier today. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to try to extend this antenna a little further. Just got to angle the radio so don't hit anything. Hitting stuff. Trying here. There we go. Nothing like good old G classic radio. I love this. I know I 
high pressure sales tactics with the all new Outlander plug in hybrid. <laughs> Wow, the audio is really nice sounding on this radio, guys. So awesome. Some crazy folk music there. Cool stuff once in a while. Make it your own. And the Kesslers. Sweet. Experiencing radio in a whole new way while using way less battery and data than streaming apps. Find your favorite stations like the one you're listening to right now. Download the free Next Radio app today. Next Radio. Enjoying this. It's going pretty good. One thing I am noticing is a uh, little tugging on the string, uh, dial string as I'm moving this dial. Maybe because it's old and hasn't been used much. Hoping it doesn't uh, become a problem later on. But uh, hopefully uh, it'll just break in a little bit as we use it because it hasn't been used. All right, so I'm going to put this antenna back down so I don't smack anything. We're going to go through the AM band, hear what we can hear. I don't know if we're going to do any distance hunting, but we can just see what we find. We'll go to AM. Okay. I'm going to lower this down so I can make it easier for you to see and me to tune. Love the static. All right. Things that we hear, they're all side effects of what I really good sound of nature for. We're hitting Nashville right there. It's really hard to hear. Water heaters. Faster to install and set up. Local. Higher performance and efficiency to provide endless hot water. I think this is WLW 700. Smart camera. 
can't be part of the team. And so NASCAR goes up and down and says, oh, okay, you, we'll take okay, care. Okay, this must be 700. From actually just about a month before Fanny Bryce passed away. I believe she died of a cerebral hemorrhage. Um, so this is just like a month before her passing. May 1st, 1951. This is Classic Radio on WGN. Hard Blues. Here's part one now. Baby Snooks and Daddy. The Baby Snooks Show. Baby Snooks. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> heard it here first. And brought to you by certified loose diamonds in Atlanta. 48 month interest free financing the Veraggio Bridal Show at Solomon Brothers March 2nd through the 4th on the 17th floor of Tower Place in Buckhead, SolomonBrothers.com. Visit the contest page at WSBRadio.com and register for a chance to be this week's hmm. loyal listener and to win a quarter of $100. Well, that's really nice. Try click list to order your groceries on Get WSB Atlanta here, 750. Didn't expect to hit that. Coming in nice. So Detroit will be next to it. All right, let's uh, go back to your calls. Let's go to Bob, and Bob has an 07 Jeep Wrangler. And I'm, I'm really yep, Detroit 760. It'll be windy and mild with a high of 44. 780 WBM. Uh, for Sunday night, low uh, uh, clear tomorrow night with a low near 30. Uh, hmm. Coast to coast. Um, um, wow, it's really close. So possibly 810 Albany. Sweet. Dial's pretty accurate. Uh, on the AM there, look at that. Nice. That side, he says, involves so many players and so many negotiations, it'll take decades. Use our freedom to defend our freedom. We lose our freedom. So well said. Pat, that's why I love talking to you. Thank you so much for your friendship, for your mentorship, and for being a great guy for so many. John Hagee, the pastor of course, Hagee Ministries, Cornerstone Church. Pastor, thanks a million. Thank you, Pat. It's been my pleasure. We always appreciate having the pastor on. one 800 501 Stay right here. Hmm. I heard 850. I don't know if it's KOA. I haven't heard any other on 850. Interesting. Cool, that must, that must have been KOA Denver. Sweet. Toronto, 860. The other day they were rocking out with some music, which was cool. Wow, my hands are inducting it. Okay. And uh, my I wouldn't order uh full size to start with. Not one like that queen and a king size. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Friends told 
him about the odd message and he took it down. Cardinal has now apologized to the priests and faithful of the Archdiocese of Newark. Tobin's experience on Twitter has not been bad, though. He actually found out via Twitter that Pope Francis would be making him a cardinal. Mike Smeltz, WCBS News Radio 880. A driver cool. involved in an auto incident with actor comedian Chevy Chase is talking to the paper. Normally it's just a box with a box inside. Well, no, I get stuff inside. Every it's 890. Yeah, but we, like, we just got, uh, t- I was uh, in 1994. I was a sophomore in high school. Cool. So Local. I was, uh, actually. For hire. Pat Novak. For hire. Another new one I didn't know about. Pat Novak for hire. This I think is 1020. Um, Pittsburgh, KDKA, because they have the classic radio, uh, Hollywood 360, I believe. Sure. Awesome. Pat Novak for hire. That's what the sign out in front of my office says. Pat Novak for hire. That's about the only way to say it. This is bad. Um, You're not accepting snail mail either, are you? Not at the moment. Uh, it, but if you can get somebody with a scanner, get it scanned and just fire it over. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. And something else I want to get you. When you start accepting snail mail, right? Uh, Could I've be WHO, 1040, like send you, Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, straight from the Vomit Comet. I'll be announcing it right here on the air. All right. Thanks. Can't hover even on AM. It got copyrights. Oh man. I want to jam out. <laughs> I'm doing it one handed now because I, I was getting some interference when I was holding it with two hands. That was weird. So we're going to tune it here. The disco going on? Twelve ninety, Dayton, Ohio. I'm guessing. Hi, I'm Christian Von Rickenbach. Very much so. I mean, just as much as Churchill's has his heroic moment of, you know. 
absolutely refusing to negotiate a negotiated peace with Hitler and to throw in the you know list from Kroger with same day pickup. Check it out at Kroger.com. Fresh food, low prices at Kroger. This tax season, AutoZone has everything your car Pretty clear. Needs. It's got to be local. Now you can stop the second guessing and finally start your car with confidence. Whether Figure out what that is. Or time for a new one, AutoZone will test well, your The only thing around this is 1540 PX EL, which is uh, Iowa. Yeah. When you buy two Bosch and Vision wiper blades. Forever. Did I say it was ended? But this might be done. They do, the, they do the classic radio, too, I believe. January 22nd, 1946, Inner Sanctum Mysteries, The Confession. I'm Wyatt Cox. Thanks so much for making us a part of your day. You are listening to Classic Radio Theater, and coming up in four minutes, we'll have the conclusion of this episode of Inner Sanctum Mysteries. This is Tim Harwood. There's more KXCL Classic Radio Theater coming up. And join me weekday All mornings right, cool. between 5 and 8 for the KXCL Morning News. That's right. It's nice, nice to get these little call letters. KCJJ, did I say? I'll have to look that up again. I have that written down. Okay. Cool. Alright, we hit the end. Alright, we made it through. There's a knob there. Yeah, nice. Wow, okay. So let's uh, pan this back up and give final thoughts on this radio. Okay, so yeah, uh, I got my particular example for $20 shipped. Um, I've seen these sell for under 20 in good shape. Is it worth the money? Heck yeah, this is great. I mean, right here, two-way power. You can't beat it. You got AC, you got the you got the portability of it. Yeah, it's a bit of a tank. Um, you're not going to misplace it, that's for sure. Um, reminds me of that Texan I bought. Uh, what is that? I'll put a little thing in the uh, card icon there for the Texan radio that looks similar to this. You know, it has the same, similar features. Um, a little different tuning dial, of course, though. But yeah, I just I love this this style. GE puts out so many different radios; they're all really cool. Uh, but yeah, if you can find this radio for say twenty bucks or under, you're getting a cool. You're getting a weather radio. You're getting a really good FM radio. You're getting an AM radio that's uh, really sensitive, which surprised me. I think I was holding it; it was so sensitive it was picking up inductions from my hand. I've never had that. Well, usually a cheaper radio, but yeah, it was picking up. You know, maybe through this antenna here. Um, some interference so when I let go it kind of went away so really neat to see it's that sensitive so all right perfect hey if you guys like this video big thumbs up there um, if you want to see more of these videos make sure to subscribe especially if you're first time on the channel and hit the little bell icon we all know about and then uh, comment about this radio tell me what you think about the GE 7 29 29 a um, AM FM TV band radio are you gonna buy one do you have one uh, just a really cool addition to my collection Alrighty, well thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.